Good day, viewers. Take it. Start over here. I'm releasing my maybe my final product, utility. Uh, Saints Row Mod Manager version 1.0. Simply you open it up. I'm not sure if you can see the screen or not. Here we go. You click yes. You open up, and you've got your Saints Row ma Manager. Fairly simple. And first step before you get into all this stuff, you want to locate your Steam folder. In my case, mine's on the Z drive, so computer, Z drive, and games, Steam, and then you click OK. But your well, one is somewhere else, depending on where you installed Steam. But for example, um, I don't have a mod here at the moment, so I'm just going to create something. This is my mod. Yeah, let's just call it. This is T's mod, whatever. And yeah, you have to locate your Steam before you can do all this. So for is so right now, let's find your mod. That's mine's on the desktop. You can select, you can select more than um, one item. You can select that many, but I'm going to select this is my mod because that's the mod I'm going to be using. Give it a name. My mod in capitals MT mod okay it's not, it's not going to be called my mod it's going to be called M MT mod get over it okay so that right now you have to select the select your Saints Row that you want to use Saints Row could be Saints Row 3 Saints Row 4 but, but this time I'm going to set install it to Saints Row 3 and you simply click add mod and it deletes it off the location where you had it originally and pastes it into the Steam folder where you've located it into your Saints Row 3 or Saints Row 4 depending on which one you selected and you can simply remove it there or remove it here I'm going to create another my, my M, MT mod 2 I'm going to make another mod uh, so let's select that to mod 2 and I'm going to install that into the Centro 4 mod just so I can give you a different example and as you can see you can switch between them and it installs it into the main location of the Centro folder in the main area and it keeps track of if you have it in there or not so don't muck around with the files and everything will be easily found okay Let's see, let's say I want to remove this. Click remove. It's removed from the main Saints Row directory. But it's still in the backup folder. But you can also click copy over. And it'll copy right back over to the Saints Row mod. You can also delete them. By clicking this, it will ask you if you want to delete both. It needs to delete both because I cannot track the file because yeah, I cannot track the file. It has to be you have to delete too. So when you click yes, oh yeah, also, also you have to select the the mod you want to remove. So you select remove, click yes, remove from both. That's in the Saints Row three area. Saints Row four, you can do the same. Remove it. Remo remove over. Remove both. Also, you have to select it. I keep getting to select it remove both very simple easy to use so to go over it quickly first step locate your steam easy wherever you installed it um, get the mod you've installed it has to be the main files it cannot be a directory for example you can ha you can't have a folder like that but you can have a document like this as you can see once you've browsed it give it a name Click add, this adds it to the, your selected Centro 3 or 4. Once you've done that, you can remove it from this that from the main directory of the mod, and then you can also delete it from the backup. Also remove uh, add from the backup, you can add it to your Centro mod. Very simple to use. I'm just probably horrible at explaining things, but that's my probably my final program 
utility I'll be making. If you guys um, find some errors or something, please leave a comment down below or wherever this video is posted. Also, remember to comment, rate, subscribe to this YouTube channel, TechAx Software. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and program. See you guys later.